Um, uh, there's uh, quite a bit of thought that uh, the vaccinations should be able to last us for at least uh, nine months, 12 months. We believe that it's going to be much longer than that, perhaps even uh, uh, 15 to 18 months. But uh, beyond that, uh, it, it's still a relatively uh, uncertain situation. And there are two uh, developments that uh, may um, influence us in our thinking about uh, giving further vaccinations, even to those who have received uh, their, their first two vaccinations already. The first is, uh, just as recovered workers may eventually have uh, a, a gradually waning immune uh, protection, this may also apply to those who uh, have uh, been vaccinated. And therefore, uh, as we uh, do tests following up uh, some of uh, these uh, individuals who have been vaccinated, and we find that, that immune uh, level starting to uh, drift downwards, uh, this would then be the right time to start uh, uh, planning to vaccinate uh, uh, these people as well. The other consideration are the viral variants of uh, concern, uh, where uh, at this time, the vaccines that we've chosen, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccine, have shown still efficacy against these variants of concern. Uh, but we uh, have to prepare for the possibility that there may be future variants that, uh, where the vaccines that we currently use are not as efficacious. And if that were the case, uh, it may well be the case that we need a booster vaccine doses to augment the immunity that we already have from uh, the previous vaccinations and to give us additional protection, particularly against these uh, variants of concern.